Hello, and welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. Today, we're going to give a brief overview of Garmin's G3 Vision Cartography and all this electronic charting is capable of. So, let's get started. G3 Vision Cartography is compatible with many of the newer Garmin chart plotters and fish finder combinations. Be sure to check on the Garmin website for compatibility with your particular electronics. Today's video will be showing the G3 Vision cartography on an EchoMap UHD model. These charts can be purchased as pre-programmed cards or purchased online from Garmin and uploaded through the free Active Captain app. This particular example is a pre-programmed card with the micro SD card within the SD adapter. So we take the micro SD card and insert it into the chart plotter slot. Now it's important to make sure that you're loading it in the right direction and not forcing it in. Just pop it in, close the door, and let it load. Once loaded, you have your regular chart offerings, but now you also have relief shading, fisheye 3D. You've got your standard perspective 3D still, but now you have a twist on it, mariner's eye 3D. I think the most important feature of these vision cards is the ability to pick any point on the chart and being able to auto route to it safely. Let's say I want to pick a point on the chart I want to navigate to right there. This will enable me to create a route to it. I just click navigate to, auto guidance, and the machine will automatically calculate a safe route for me to that destination. All based on my draft and overhead height. If there are hazards along the way, you'll see this symbol on the magenta line, and you can make adjustments as necessary. You have the option to adjust your path if needed. If not, click start. A warning will pop up if there's a hazard along the route. Click it to acknowledge it. No autopilot, so cancel, and off we go. If I zoom in, you can see that based on our draft and overhead height, it's taking us a safer route. So follow along here. It's not taking us through there, it's too shallow, so it's taking us up and around this island, safe distance, and on down to our destination. If you want to end the routing, click the menu and select Stop Navigation. If you want to save the route at this point, you can by clicking Yes. Another feature available with this card includes the Mariner's Eye 3D. It takes a perspective view one step further. As it loads here, it's worth the wait. Wait for it. There it is. Color coding of the water based on your individual boat's draft. So anything that's blue is safe depth with no issues. Yellow warns you that it's getting shallow. Orange means you're about to run aground. And red means you'll run hard aground if you venture into it. Green, of course, indicates dry land. Just like Perspective 3D, you can change your perspective by hitting the up and down arrows on the screen. By doing so, you can get a really good idea of the waters around you based on your individual boat's draft and how much water depth you need to safely operate. Bringing it down, you can clearly see where you need to be to stay in a safe depth. You can spin it around to get a 360 degree view. Let's change your perspective a little bit. Very nice and very easy to see the depths as they relate to my specific vessel. Another option available on the vision card is Fisheye 3D. What this feature accomplishes is it takes you below the surface and creates a virtual image as if you're down on the bottom looking up at your vessel. It's based on the bathymetric information from the chart and renders a 3D version based on this information. If there was a lot of structure gradations here, you would see them clearly. If you draw your finger across the screen, you can spin around the boat and see what the structure is like 360 degrees. Now we're looking at the bow. Just like the other screens, you can change your perspective by hitting the plus and minus buttons on the screen. If we do so, it will bring us down as if we're laying on the bottom, nice and close. And a spin to see what's around the boat. Clicking back on charts, you can then see the other offering with the vision card, Relief Shading. This is another really innovative idea. If I click on it, the boundary box of the particular chart chip I have loaded will show, but then I can zoom in and soon enough it'll draw in 
shaded areas with different colors representing different depths. It's almost like a satellite overlay type image, but with color gradations. Makes it very easy to see where your shallows are, where your drop-offs are, and where the di drastic and different changes in, in depth occur. Fantastic visual aid. As it draws in here, you can really see the differences and where depths really do change offshore. Zooming out a little bit, I think you get a little better perspective of its capabilities and what it can do. Yet another innovative feature with these cards. We're not done yet. There's yet another offering on these vision cards, aerial photographs. If you look here, you can see an image of a camera with a cone pointing out of it. There it is right there. If you click on it and press the photo icon on the screen, an aerial photograph will pop up for you. This shows me a directional photo of the entrance to the river. It provides me with improved knowledge of the entrance and its shoals. If I go back to the chart, I can scroll around and look for other photographs to get an even better idea of where I'm going. It does also display other points of interest that you can click on to get information. Here we have another photograph. So I'll click on it and pull up the photo. There you go. Another great overhead photo of the turn in the river. As I mentioned, you also have points of interest all over the charts. If you click on any of them, like maybe this one, and hit review, and then marine services. The information will come up. Contact information, amenities, services, that kind of thing. There may be two or three pages. If you want to go to it, just click Auto Guidance. It takes you right to it. When the vision card is loaded, you'll also see little T's on the chart. If you click on them, they'll bring up a tide station. There it is. If you press the button for that tide station in the text bar, It'll pull up a tie chart and all the relevant information. And that's the G3 Vision chart card. A lot of information in a tiny little card. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.